Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity. Uh-huh, folly. You you got you got the Olympics. You know what I'm saying you got you got NBA, you got NFL, got this devil program your ass. Every, when football season done, they got basketball coming up. When basketball is done, you got um, arena football, you you got volleyball, baseball almost year round. You know what I'm saying you got UFC. Yeah, I mentioned the Olympics. They got all these sports. Why to keep y'all niggas dumped down? To keep your ass front of the TV instead of being in his word, man. Being in his word. Y'all be so hyped to watch a fucking playoff game. But when it's time to read the scripts, y'all be like, oh man. You be like, oh fuck it, man. Know what I'm saying? But when you read the scripts, you gotta use your imagination, man. Like they taught you when you was growing up. But they glorify all the wicked things that's going on in America. That's why America is Babylon. That's why the God of the Bible hates America. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's start from the top again, bro. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. Folly is set in great dignity, uh -huh. and the rich sit in low places. The rich? Who was the rich? Let me get the 12 try sign. We got a low. Starting with the head tribe. You got Judah, so-called Negro. You got the Cuban man. You got the Mexican man. You got the Native American. We are the low. We are the people that's in the ghetto, that's in the hood. You know what I'm saying? We, we live paycheck to paycheck. Because why? It's a curse from the Heavenly Father. According to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Like the people that I'm about to go to work for right now. Uh huh. I'm on my way to work right now to work for these people. We, we, are, we are the low. I'm saying we don't have. You got you got the white man. It's Esau, it's Bill name. They don't want that passing all the law, keeping our people oppressed. I'm saying. Our people are having suicide thoughts right now. That's right. They having suicide thoughts. So what happened when this white man shut this whole shit down? When he bring the, um, the mark of the beast, which is the chip. We not going to be able to buy or sell. You know I'm saying we not able to go to work and put gas in your tank. You think you depressed now? Wait till this whole shit gets shut down. That's when the most side, your high body, your side going to test your faith in that time, man. Go ahead, bro. This is Deuteronomy. 28 and 43. Uh -huh. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. 44. He shall lend unto thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. That's talking about when you want to open up a, a new business, right? What happened? You got to go to the bank, you got sign papers, and they're going to run your uh, social screen number in the system, see if you get pulled to get like 25000 or 50000 for your own, for your own crib and restaurant you're trying to open up. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever small business, what happened? You get the money, and then you got you to pay entrance. You got to pay 25% um, interest. Pay taxes and shit, but the upper class, but the upper class got to pay 13. And that's some shit. They don't want the bread, but when it's time to pay interest, they paying 13 while we paying why are we paying 25? Why this is Esau Kingdom? It's Mr. White Man Kingdom. Sure. You know what I'm saying? No. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. In thirst? So who, first of all, Who's your number one enemy? Esau. Esau. Which I the world know my, know my Mr. White Man. The Esau Nation, which contain y'all Chinese, y'all Russians, y'all Greeks. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the Esau Nation right here, man. If you part of that sign, if you part of the Esau Nation, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. And in thirst and in nakedness. Uh, so in hunger. For you. Alright, read that again, bro. We're gonna go back when it's for hunger. Therefore shall the, shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger yep. and in thirst yep. and in nakedness. So that let you know who's in charge. He saw Mr. White Man. 
which is the devil according to the Bible. That's right. right. Free the men's society. Your ass gotta wake up off that bed. Oh shit, my back hurt. You you walking to the kitchen? Well, get something to eat. You gotta take a bath, and then you got you got work for Mr. White. You got clocked in. Same as routine every fucking day. Cause why? If you don't work for the white man, your ass gonna your ass gonna start to death. You gonna you gonna be able to have money to put food on the table and put clothing for your family. You know what I'm saying? We we in modern day slavery, but our people think oh, cause we don't got the physical chains on our arms or legs, we not in slavery. You dummies! Our people losing on this side, man. That's right. Right. Huh. Hey, see if you can find like uh, and in want group, group and in want of all things. Y'all read that again, captivity. bro. Yeah, see if you say that. Nah, that's all things, man. That's and and in want of all things. So we gotta go through all things to beg this white man what we want, man. You know what I'm saying of all things. That's why he had the power. He had the power. Come to Job nine. Let's get that, man. Job nine twenty four, man. Yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I gotta, um, yeah, but finish that out though. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until on, he has destroyed slavery. thee. This is what the white man did to us, man. This is what the white man did to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. And you think he ain't gonna pay for that shit? The white man is going to slavery. That's right. The white man is going to slavery. So where's your Latinos? And blacks don't want to get down with the program, you're going to die with the white man. That's right. right. You know what I got a uh, precept. This is um, Barak, chapter 3, verse 8. When hold that joke, not too Behold, long. we are yet this day in our captivity. Yet to this day. 2014, we are here on a Saturday afternoon. Not, not fucking 100 years ago. Read that again. Behold. We are yet this day in our captivity. Oh, it said um, before, 100 years ago, Art. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. So today, man, we stay in captivity. But that got to work 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. They got consistent hours. They know the routine, clocking in. And then you see a bunch of coons, man. They all happy going to um, captivity and shit, smiling time I was up. When I watch captivity, man, I be mad as fuck, man. Talking about, oh, what's wrong with you? Anti-social, you don't want to talk to nobody. Something wrong with you. Fucking happy-ass coons, man. Some happy-ass slaves. Some house slave-ass niggas, man. And y'all Latinos. I'm just in the right spirit. That's right. Because I see through the bullshit. That's right. I see through all the bullshit that the white man doing. But y'all don't see nothing, though. That's why most law, that's why the Lord said he's going to come back as a thief in the night. That's right. That's right. When y'all got Joe, go ahead, bring it out, bro. What you were speaking on, that's called Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so like, like the Rapal always said, man, it gets to the point that they love they master, but master, they love they master. It gets to the point that he broke down, like he said, if you get kidnapped and shit, after a while, you love the person that kidnapped you, man. You know what I'm saying? You get attached to them. That's two thirds of the Latino and blacks and Native American. That's right. They love their number one enemy, Esau, Mr. White Man. But this devil going down, man. Right. This devil on his last leg. What? It's in Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So who's the wicked? First and foremost, the wicked so-called white man, Esau. You know what I'm saying? He got all the, he got all the um, power to push out laws out there, to push it out and take it away. He's the one that's going to country to country, setting up his base, setting up his military. You know what I'm saying? Telling the females over there how to dress. You know what I'm saying? Telling Russia, talking about you can't have those missiles. But your ass got missiles here, Mr. White Man. You been a goddamn hypocrite. Why can't Russia have nuclear capability? But your ass got it. Because you feared, because you feel what's about to happen. You know the Bible real. So you send them tooth over there to stop what they doing. You know what I'm saying? You want only you to have nuclear missiles, man. That let you know the white man is the devil. That's right. What? 
he covered up the faces of the judges thereof. Let's get Cesare and y'all shot picture. So, who, let me get y'all shot. Who, the main judges. It's talking about the, um, the father and son, man. You know what I'm saying? So the, Mr. White, man, put this picture up, man. He put this picture up. Exaggerate. So it ain't know who the devil is, man. According to the Bible, the Lord is the black man. That's right. So any, any people of part of the tribe got a problem with that, the Lord going to kill your ass. That's, That's right. right. Do that again, bro. Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Uh -huh. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the real image of our Lord and Savior. You know what I'm saying? Even, even the 12 tribe sign, what is that? Even all these people back in there is all black. You look, you look at movies, right? Look at these movies today. He saw going on water walls and shit, showing that all these people was um, white. But all of them was black, though. Every single one of them. So he even showing the movies, so he got the power. The earth's getting to the hand of the wicked, so he got the power, all right? Put white actors in this movie, I'm saying? Passion of the Christ. I'm saying all these biblical movies, this devil put out there. The number of white people, even growing up. Everybody got a testimony about growing up, seeing nothing but white people in the movies. So who got the power to do that? You just getting up? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So if the white man, Esau, did not do it, who the fuck did? The Lord got a sense of humor, man. So he just give you a contact clues who the devil is. Fill up the blank. The white man is the devil, man. That's right. He's the deceiver. He's the one that's out there killing our people every day. According to John 10 and 10, the devil's out there to steal and kill. Who's out there killing every um killing people? With the chemtrail, with the fucking food? Well, uh, Esau got tired of it. He realized the GMO's not working fast enough. The GMOs are not working fast enough. We we, we gotta kill these niggas on site. We gonna come out with the bird flu, any type of outbreak diseases. HIV. You know what I'm saying? AIDS. Let's let's go to let's go to Walgreens and get the bird flu. Dumbass. He saw just set your ass up. That's right. You you going out there to get the bird flu. But he saw no being the devil that he is. He know Jake, the blacks and Latinos living pay to paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Making that bean and rice every day with the platines. That should be on point. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say that should be on point. Because we make the best food. But he know we live in paycheck to paycheck. He gonna make that shit alright. $9.95. That's it. Jake got money for $10. They got money to pay that to get the birth flu. But that's just the white man being the devil. Right, you see your they, ass. They're bringing it back too that, um, that now they're blaming the parents that don't want to get their kids vaccinated. They're saying that yeah, it's your fault that, that, that the chicken pox and the measles yeah. and all this is coming back. But where are these people that have this shit, man? Yeah. You know? You know what I'm saying? There was a movie I had watched like two weeks ago. It's the outbreak. And showing you how the, how the shit started. Uncle go, Esau gonna walk down, all right? It was a monkey that was in another country. So what the white man did, he didn't want the shit to spread out. Cause the shit was airborne. You know what I'm saying? So what they did, they bombed, they bombed that village. They bombed that village. But they didn't know the monkey got shipped out to a whole different country. It came to America. It came to America and that shit was just spreading out throughout the city and state. And what they did, what they did with the state, it was spreading so rapidly, they said in a 48 hour span, everybody in the state would have had it. So, so the, the government of the state wanted to let go of They had a meeting. So like, we got to do what we got to do. We got to bomb the whole state. We got to bomb that whole shit up, man. Because why we can't let the other 49 states get affected. So they down to kill thousands upon thousands of young blacks and Latinos. You know what I'm saying? And also, uh, in that movie, it shows you their wicked agenda because they could have killed that um, disease or that outbreak. Yeah. But they wanted to uh, harness it. They wanted to farm it to use it as a bio um, weapon. Because they showed it. They had, they had the cure. All along, they, had, they, froze, they froze the liquid um, um, cure. They had the cure. 
Because these two scientists, they came out with it. They tested on a monkey that had the disease. And then fucking like 17 hours back, later, the monkey was cured. But that's just the white man for you, man. Controlling everything. But that's bro. why they got what you call um, the CDC, which well, is the, the there, Center, Center for Disease Control. Why they controlling diseases? It that's should right. be the CDE, which is the Center for Disease Eradication. They're controlling these diseases. Why? Because one day they're going to uh, put them out all throughout the world, man. Why, why, why y'all niggas, why y'all niggas busy cooking crack? These crackers cooking up diseases for y'all niggas, yeah, man. Huh, huh. Talking about heart diseases, man. Shit that want, shit that want, um, make you want to eat your own body. Make a, make you want to eat all human flesh. That's how bad it's gonna be when there's no lights out here. Niggas be going crazy when it's a fucking blackout. Or I can't see. So you want to, you want to take the chip so you can pay your bills, so you can have light. So you gonna be the only one on the blog with fucking light. You think these black Latinos ain't gonna take your ass? Who's that, bro? This is Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 23. Pharaoh was sent into her pestilence and blood in her streets. Most I gonna say he gonna send diseases. We already broke down what the white man about to do with the movie Outbreak. The movie Contagious. The white man just showing to you in advance. <coughs> These movies came out like a decade and a half ago. But it's on point. It's on point. But the white man going going um the white man's gonna go to do to you, man. You feel me? The shit's on point. Shit that's in the um, movies, that shit's gonna be child played. It's gonna be child played. Cause we our brothers among each other, man. When the most I bring this shit, we can be like, man, the Lord gonna do this. But when this shit happens, we gonna be like, damn! Yeah, how about him, y'all say ain't playing? Go ahead. And the wound and the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her. Yeah, the wounded, y'all two third ass niggas. Think y'all got guns? Y'all crypt and blood? Y'all people that's in these churches. You know what I'm saying? And rest of y'all. Y'all celebrities, y'all football players, basketball players, hockey players, and the, man, it's a long ass sport list, man, and so on, and so on. The Lord gonna wound you, man. He gonna wound your ass before the missiles hit, Lord willing. Cause y'all niggas gotta pay the most, man. Y'all niggas gotta pay the most. Go ahead. And the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her. Okay, um, Isaiah, Isaiah 28 and 14. Well, and the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon every side. The sword. Let's, let's play the sword how the most high gonna sword y'all niggas, man. I was talking to a nigga like a month ago. He was telling my friend whatever, man. I'm talking about, yeah, 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 you know about martial law. I'm talking about, man, I don't feel these crackers. I got guns. What the fuck he gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I told him we about like 25 years behind technology. But that shit ain't get through his head though. I said, imagine if we 25 years behind technology, imagine the guns they got. Imagine the guns they got. Know what I'm saying? They shooting shit before you even tweak your damn index finger, man. You done. They can have guns to freeze your gun. That shit can jam your gun. I know shit hurt you, man. That subliminal message shit will show you a lot. Like I was saying, them Call of Duty games, man. Black Ops, you got ray guns, blow guns, you got guns. Oh, Nobody ever knew about, man. Them Call of Duty games, they actually give you drawings to play with, man. They gonna, they gonna make y'all niggas look like the uh, Flintstones, man. Right, well, they on some Jetson shit, man. It's a 